My name is Stefan Zeutzen. I'm the chairman of the Department of Medicine at Frankfurt University, and I welcome you here in my clinic. I had a very busy morning seeing a lot of patients, um, many of them again infected with chronic hepatitis C, and it really shows me on a day-to-day -day basis the unmet need we have in the treatment of our patients. And the major unmet needs are that we are still waiting for better treatment results in the most difficult to treat genotype 1 infected patients. And the second challenge, and this is an increasing challenge, is that we desperately need treatment options for many of our patients who are absolutely intolerable and are unable to take pegylated interferon due to for a variety of reasons. And we have currently, fortunately, several companies who are exploring direct antiviral agents, so-called DAAs. And here we have several classes already in the clinic. We have protease inhibitors, we have NS5A inhibitors, we have nucleosidic and non-nucleosidic polymerase inhibitors. And I'm very honored that I had the opportunity to lead here an international group exploring two innovative direct antiviral agents developed by Beringer Ingelheim. We had the opportunity in this trial to combine a protease inhibitor called BI201335 together with a non-nucleosidic polymerase inhibitor also from Beringer Ingelheim called BI201727. This non-nucleosidic polymerase inhibitor was a explored at two different doses, a dose of 400 milligram and a slightly higher dose of 600 milligrams. Patients were treated either with the lower dose of the polymerase inhibitor in combination with the protease inhibitor or with a higher dose together with the protease inhibitor and both patient groups received in addition to the innovative new direct antivirals, also ribavirin. None of the patient received during the four-week study period any interferon. Of all, and this is always the most important message, is that this DAA combination treatment was safe and very well tolerable for the patient. We were very impressed by the huge success rate, the virologic response of these patients was fantastic. We achieved undetectable viral load in 73% of the patients with the lower polymerase inhibitor dose, but achieved 100% undetectable HCV RNA levels in the blood in patients who received the protease inhibitor in combination with the higher dose of the non-nucleosidic polymerase inhibitor. This is a milestone towards options in the future to achieve perhaps also viral eradication, cure of our patients with an interferon sparing regimen. And this is exactly where the research in my clinic in collaboration with many international groups is focusing on. We are looking towards longer treatment exposure with these direct antivirals, which ultimately then should have the chance to cure the patients. We know that a four-week DAA combination treatment is still too short to cure a patient, but with such a safe and tolerable regimen, we hope that 24 weeks may be sufficient to cure patients without the need of the patients to inject interferon. Thank you.